Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and I am doing some IXL homework. Let's see, slope intercept form, write an equation from a word problem. So, slope intercept form. So, we're looking at y equals mx plus a b, where this is how it's changing, and the b is kind of the initial value. And this marker is not the best marker in the world. Do you have a better marker? I don't. Okay, let's keep going. So, Dinah can bake 10 cookies which eat with each scoop of flour. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the scoops of flour x and the cookies y. So y equals 10x. One scoop, 10 cookies. Two scoops, 20 cookies. Let's get that in there. y equals 10x. Brilliant. Okay. I shouldn't erase the top. Gabby prepares two kilograms of dough every hour. She works at the bakery. Write an equation. Hours worked and dough prepared. So y equals 2x. One hour, two kilograms. Two hours, four kilograms. Let's see. Since starting a recycling plan, Mary's office recycles nine kilograms of paper each week. So y equals nine x. One week, nine kilograms. Two weeks, 18 kilograms. Nolan has spent four minutes. He's already spent four minutes on the phone and he's going to do one minute more for every phone call he routes. So I'm looking at y equals one x plus four. Okay, so four minutes already, and then for every phone call, it takes an extra minute. So zero phone calls, four minutes, one phone call, five minutes. So y equals, I'm going to drop off that one though, so just go with x plus four. Alice's birthday, it's three bucks for the birthday, and then a dollar for each additional guest. So three dollars initial, so y equals three dollars initial, plus one for each guest. So zero guests, three bucks, one guest, four dollars, two guests, five dollars. Once again, I'm gonna drop off that one, so just go with x plus three, x plus three, x plus three. She's already taken two quizzes, and she's going to do one each week. So y equals, she's already taken two and one each week. So on week zero, she's already taken two. On week one, she's taken three. On week two, she's taken four. Once again, I'm going to drop off that x, or the one on the x. and just go with y equals x plus two. You can grow five plants with a seed packet. It doesn't have a starting value, so it's just y equals 5x, right? One seed packet, five plants. Two seed packets, 10 plants. Watch one second behind, and it falls behind another one second every day. So she's already behind the day since the watch was last set, and the seconds behind it is. Okay. So y equals one second behind already and one every day. So at day zero, she's one second behind. At day two, she's two seconds behind. No, at day zero, she's one second behind. At day one, she's two seconds behind and three. I think this is gonna be correct. I know, I, I, I feel like it should go with some kind of negatives, but it's not going to be. It's how many seconds behind is she? She is two seconds behind, not negative two seconds behind. So it's going to be positive, I think. Y equals, once again, I'm dropping off that one. Y equals X plus one. Okay. Screen printing batch requires one minute per shirt in addition to three minutes of initial set up. Okay, so Y equals one minute per shirt plus three minutes just to set it up. So zero shirts, I've spent three minutes. One shirt, I've spent four minutes. Two shirts, I've spent five minutes. Once again, I'm dropping off that one. And she already owns one hairband and she's getting two for a dollar. So y equals, she already owns one 
and two per dollar. So zero dollars, she has one, one dollar, she has three, two dollars, she has five. She knits nine centimeters of scarf at night, and it looks like she's starting with zero centimeters of scarf, so it's just y equals nine x. One night, nine centimeters, two nights, 18 centimeters. There's no initial. You know what, let's put it in with a plus zero and see if IXL accepts it. Y equals nine X plus zero. It's gonna be cool. Great job. I wouldn't normally write that zero though, right? It's just kind of superfluous. She already owns three necklaces and she's getting two for each dollar. So Y equals, she has three. She starts with three, so zero dollars, she has three, one dollar, she has five, two dollars, she has seven. Seventy-five. Six bucks for membership, and then two dollars per visit. So Y equals, there's two dollars per visit, plus six dollars just to get the membership. So even if you never go, you're gonna spend six bucks. You go once, you pay eight dollars, you go twice, you pay ten dollars. Okay, I'm gonna try to get to eighty and see if anything happens. Five seconds to process the payment, as well as four seconds to scan each item. Okay, so y equals four seconds per item plus five seconds just to like take the money. So. It's gonna, if I buy one item, it's gonna take nine seconds. If I buy two items, it's going to take 13 seconds. Eighty-one, nothing's changing here. Okay, I'm gonna stop it, but that definitely gets you a good start on the homework. Thanks for watching, have a great day, stopping it.